POV, you're the short guy at the party. Oh, you want a re-rack? Three, two, one? All right. How's that look? Is that good? Cool. Eh. I took the filter out for that, but welcome back to the Karma Speed Garage. No, oh, oh. Today's about an important one. Six quarts of the best Motul 5W50, a little bit different than normal, and a FL400S that holds a little extra oil, so you get a little extra filtration, you get a little extra capacity. Your normal oil change is gonna take 5.7 quarts, so you don't need quite this sixth. But with this little bit of a tip running the bigger filter, we're gonna need all six. Hi, my name is Cameron. I've been working on cars for eight years and I started this channel to help you build confidence in the garage and my company KarmaSpeed.com to give you the easiest place to get the parts you need with the best quality support and quality products on deck for your platform. Head over to KarmaSpeed.com and you can pick up this oil change kit. This is an important one and you're going to come back to this down the road. And we're doing this on the ground today to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing and you don't mess it up because I have messed up an oil change before when I was 18 when I barely first started working working on cars, you don't want that to be you. I almost blew up my Mazda Speed 3. Did I mention that this meets Ford specifications for the purists out there and Motul? What, what motorsport car that's pushing the limits have you seen that's not running Motul? So of course you should trust them and all their laboratory testing, race car testing. I run it in every single car I own. I didn't always until I met the people over at Motul, saw how much people were pushing the limits with their oil. So I wanted to make sure that I ran the best quality oil. And that is why it's on KarmaSpeed.com. We're waiting for you with the link in the description sitting there. If you need a Motul, this is all full synthetic. Don't worry. If you have a Focus ST or a Fiesta ST, I have a link in the description to your oil change kits as well, specific to your two liter and 1.6 liter. That also meets Ford specifications. How often should you change your oil in your Focus RS, Focus ST or Fiesta ST? I would take it 5,000 miles max. For maximum life, zero chance of failure sludge anything going in a negative direction but me i'm a little bit ocd i'm gonna go 3000 because i don't drive very slow i'm gonna take my chances shell out the little extra do it every three so three to five that's what i recommend do you do you hear that is, is that is that editor justin saucing up a vibe right now oh oh okay Ratchet, 15 mil, check. T30 on an adapter to work with my gun to speed things up, check. One more thing, we're gonna run into some plastic clips. That's not it. Something to catch the oil? That's not it. Ah, my secret weapon. See this thing right here? That will become magnetic to the bolt, drain bolt, and keep me from getting oil on me. You're also gonna need an eight millimeter or the person that previously owned this car replaced them. I don't know, there's just some eight millimeters on my car. A funnel, only necessary for those who spill. I am one. Promise me something before you get started. For your safety, pull your e-brake up, make sure it's tight. Also, pop your hood. The focus is chill because there's a big old pinch weld across the whole thing that's strong. Strong pinch weld right there. Then you go to the sweet spot, put your jack there. Repeat on the other side carefully. Snug this tight, leave that as a backup. Two jack stands, you know you'll be safe and the car won't fall on you. Do yourself a favor, pop the top on the oil fill and just set it in there at an angle. When we take the drain bolt out, it'll pull air all the way through and make sure you get all the oil out. Aw, my last towel. Make sure you get a towel. I'm cheating, I'm cheating. Didn't used to do this, but you know, it's the right thing to do. I've heard enough of it in the comments from you. Before we go down there, let's fill up our oil filter. It'll fill up and then it will burp a bunch of times and you just gotta be patient and fill it up slowly. While we're at 
at it. Get some oil on your finger, rub it around. This O-ring creates a nice seal. Important little touch. Late night cravings, bro. Don't judge me. Most slept on thing ever, but don't buy the thins. Buy the regular ones, because my mom gifted me these. She's a thins person. Thanks, mom. I love you. I know you're watching this. All right, all right, all right. What do we got down here? We got a T30. Rip, another one. One in the middle. If you just wander around like you're bored, you'll find them. But there's two. Looks like seven or eight mil. Let's find out. Oh, there are eight. Two of them. Oh, it's falling. All right, easy. Easy peasy. Oil filter here, drain plug there. Catcher ready. This is when my nifty tool makes its debut. Brace yourself. We're in splash zone. Come on, buddy. Oh, there's not even a lick of metallic on this. Me and the previous owner have been so nice. Where's my towel? Didn't even get any on me, just a drop. Gonna clean off our drain bolt. I love the drain bolts that have the rubber seal. Another tool I forgot. These are good to have, oil filter wrench. While the oil is draining, I'm gonna scoot this forward until it's below that filter. Lefty loosey righty tighty. I'm gonna break this loose. This is usually the messy part. I'm gonna try and... Oh, oh. Nothing on my hand or the rag, but some on this charge pipe. Drip. Go up here with my rag for the home stretch of the threads, then dump it in, flip it upside down, let that oil drain out. I'll set it in there. Start cleaning off the mess I made. Take my pre-filled, pre-lubricated, oversized FL400S filter, threaded this big Johnny right up in here. Let me verify something, and this is a big deal. Okay, is my black O-ring on the old oil filter? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Cam. Okay, that's how young Cam almost blew up his Mazda Speed 3 because he was on a budget and used a cheap filter, and the O-ring stayed on the block, and I put a new one on also, and it had two. So it spewed oil everywhere until the oil light came on. And I look under the car, and it's spewing oil, and it had, like, nothing in it, and I shut it off. Filled her up with oil, and she ran another, like, 40,000 miles, and I sold it. Never had a problem. Those motors are good. Ugh, I'm using my towel as a grip because I have a little bit of oil everywhere. That's not dripping anymore. Take my drain plug. Start threading it in. Get all that oil off. You want to clean it as much as possible because if you did have a leak, you want to know where it's from. You don't want to be guessing if it's from somewhere else. Let's snug that on there. Snug, not overly tight, snug. Just check with yourself real quick. Drain bolt, snug, check. Oil filter, hand, bicep tight, check. There's only one O-ring between the filter and the block. Check, you're golden. That good, good. That money. Just check the dipstick before I put in the six quart, just to make sure that everyone online was correct. I can confirm they're correct, it's a quart low. So it's gonna take exactly six. Cheers to the Motul Sport Ester 5W50, 100% synthetic, very high performance. Quart number six, so long, buddy. Gonna milk this one. Oh, this stuff costs money. Can we get anything else out of these things? Put your cap back. Make sure you start upside down and then twist it, then it'll have the words towards you. Right here, fastest way to clean your funnel. Skip the rag. Don't forget your e-brake, don't put it down. Do not put the e-brake down. Always gotta let her run for a few, let her chill for a few, then we'll pull her out and check her level. 
while she's relaxing. Give her a moment, let that oil get to the bottom of the pan, hop in the car, press the ignition once. Okay. Bear with me with the beeping. Both feet to the floor. Keep holding them feet. Keep holding them feet. Service oil in progress. Keep holding the feet. Keep holding the feet. Service oil reset complete. Right on the money. Might as well give her a little love while I'm in here. 5W50 left on this rag is like dressing. I'm just playing, I'll come detail this later. Before we're done, let's come and see. Meep, 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 meep. Checking for leaks, checking for leaks. Beep, 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 beep. That was already there before. It's residual because it was piled up. Nothing from the drain. We're golden. I'll leave you with three things. One, what do you do with your used oil filter? I put mine in the box and throw it in the dumpster. Number two, what do I do with all this used motor oil? Just take it down to your local auto parts store. I use a catcher like this because I have a big container I pour it into since I do this stuff way more often than you most likely. So if you buy one of these, I'll have one linked in the description, one that completely seals off so you can take it in the back of your car to your auto parts store and not have to worry about it spilling. Number three, and most importantly, if you would like to order an oil change kit for your Fiesta or Focus ST or RS, I have a link in the description. You can order from my company, karmaspeed.com. All of it's for spec we're excited to serve you and help you build confidence in the garage have an awesome site so you can get what you need and get out if you enjoy the content enough you can grab a karma speed hoodie shirt i even have an st and rs shirt which i'll link in the description as well if you enjoyed this video and you want to watch exactly how i wash the rs and what products i use you can click this video right here